Hey guys, it's your boy Dark Fever here, and today I got a quick unboxing for you guys of the Sapphire Radeon HD 7950 graphics card. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at what's on outside the box. So you get you get three gigabytes of GDDR5 memory with a 384 bit, and also this card is slightly overclocked with uh, 925 megahertz on the core. Here we are, we got the dual X fan design, extreme dual fan cooling. And move down here, and we got the tricks. Now this is uh, Sapphire's overclocking utility, which you can use. And then here we are, some more HD 7950 running. And here we, are, we got the revolutionary Radeon HD 7950 features include Dual fan cool and quiet, dual BIOS, PCI Express version 3.0, HDMI, AMD App Acceleration, and AMD iFinity 2.0, and this card is based off the 28 nanometer architecture. Let's go ahead and move on to the other side of the box. Here we are, more Sapphire HD 7950 branding. Here we are, graphics controller system requirements now for this card you do need a 550 watt or greater power supply with 275 watts 6 pin PCI Express connectors here we are go ahead and read that if you want operating system monitor external connectors so again this card does come with two DVI outputs one display port and an HDMI Alright, let's move on to the back of the card. Here we are. Some more info on the card itself, which you can read and pause if you want. Again, inside the box, you get the 7950 graphics card, assorted cables, driver CD, quick start manual. Here we are. Again, more info on the card. Again, you can go ahead and pause that if you want to read that. Again, sorry for the shaking this. I am recording this using my phone, so hopefully the camera or the picture quality shouldn't be too bad, at least I hope. Again, move on to the other side, Sapphire, and then again we get the naming on that. Alright, so again that's all you get on outside the box, and let's go ahead and move on and look at uh, what comes inside. We'll try to do this with one hand here. Let me pull this out for you guys. Uh, hold on just a sec. Pull it out right there. Put that right there. And let's move the box over here. Oops. It fall down on me. Alright. Here we are. Now let's open it up. Here we got some nice packaging here. Put that over there. And again, we got some drivers, in case you don't have internet or something, you can use these. Obviously, I'm not going to be using these. It's always recommended that you go to AMD's website and get the latest drivers from them. So, I'm not going to be using these. Put this to the side. We got some more, I guess, uh, contact info. Yeah, that's what it looks like here. So, that's cool. Put that over there. And then we got some more things to read. We got the Sapphire Graphics Card Quick Installation Guide. So I guess if this is your first time putting in a graphics card or something, you may want to read this. Obviously, I'm not going to do that. And here we are with some more advertising, I think. We'll take here. Nope, it's product registration info. Which I'm not going to read probably. So I'm going to put that to the side. And here's the card itself. It says stop. You must connect the graphics board to the computer's power supply. Alright. Nice little warning. Here's a card. I'm going to put this to the side very quick. And I'm going to go ahead and show you what else comes in the box. Put this to the side. 
and here we are we got one crossfire bridge cable that you can use which I will I'm glad this card did come with one because I will be crossfiring this card with another 7950 that I got so this will come in handy and then here we are we got two Molex to PCI six pen so in case you're rocking a old school power supply you can use these I won't be needing them so these will just be left in the box alright so that's all you get inside the box so I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the graphics card itself here we are, here's the graphics card I'm gonna go in and pull it out I'll try to do this with one hand here and here she is put that right there here we are, very nice looking card it's quite long too, and big, you know this card I believe is probably pretty much looks about the same size as the other 7950 which the other one is about ten and a half inches so I'm assuming this is pretty much about the same size so here we are we got the dual X fans nice looking fans I believe these are probably 92 uh, millimeter fans so here we are quicker uh, closer look it's a very nice looking card here you are move on to the back so again like the box said you get two DVI's one HDMI and also a display port here I move on to the side here again this card does require uh, two six pin power connectors and move on to the back of the card again you get a nice blue PCB very nice looking and there right there in the middle is the graphics card or GPU alright move on to the side here here we are you get two copper heat pipes looks pretty cool and yeah, that's all you really get with this. Yeah, that's the front. And there you are. The Sapphire Radeon HD 7950. Let me go ahead and take this off for you. Try to do this with one hand here. I ripped it off. Oh man, it's on there good. There we are. And there you are. Put that to the side there. And there you are. Again, very nice looking. Here you are, shiny. Pretty cool. And yeah, that's all you get inside the box. So, again, very cool looking card. So, again, guys, like I mentioned earlier, this card will be used to crossfire with another 7950 and the other 7950 is not actually the same one as this one the other one is actually a uh, FFX again it's still a 7950 but again this one's an FFX and this one's their double D card now this is the non black edition the black edition is pretty much spec as this, as this one with 925 megahertz this one the non black edition uh, is clocked at 900 megahertz so so there you guys have it so again 
the 925 on this card won't really matter because once I crossfire these two babies, this one will actually get downclocked a little bit to 900 megahertz to match this one. But again, it won't really cause a problem. So, there you guys have it. Again, I will show you some benchmarks once I get this installed, and I'll see you guys then. Later. Summertime through blue and white Where I can fly
Thank you.